Hi, I'm Abba Shapiro, a speaker for Future Media Concepts. In this course, we're going to look at secondary color correction. Now, exactly what is secondary color correction? Well, it's simply isolating a certain range of colors and only modifying those elements. So, for instance, if you have a person whose shirt is blue and it's too bright blue, I can just select that blue and bring down that color. Or in the case of what we're going to do, is we're going to isolate the red in a flower and change its color. So let's take a look at our clip in the timeline. The first thing we want to do is select the clip, go to the Effects tab, Video Filter, Color Correction, and select the same three-way color corrector that you would use just to fix a shot. Once this has been selected, we will double-click to load the clip from the timeline back into the viewer and take a look at the Color Correction tab. Now to make things easier to see, I'm going to switch my window arrangement from Standard to Two Up. Now what we want to do is we're going to open up a little secret area within the three-way color corrector. If you look at the lower left-hand corner of the color corrector filter, there's a small disclosure triangle and the words limit effect. If you click on the triangle, you'll see a whole new set of controls. What this allows me to do is select a range of colors or a range of luminance that I want to work with. I'm going to simply click on the eyedropper here and I'm going to choose the red in the flower. Now I've isolated some of the red, but I can't tell exactly what area of the flower that I've actually selected. So the trick here is to grab the saturation slider and slide it all the way to the left. And if you'll notice, I start seeing some gray areas. I haven't quite selected enough of this red flower that I want to work with. I can expand this range by grabbing these sliders or simply holding down the shift key and then using the eyedropper to select different areas of the flower and I'm just holding down the shift key and grab different areas of our flower. Now as you've noticed, I've gotten most of the flower, but there's some areas of the red where it's not truly saturated. So I can actually go over here to the filter and say, well, maybe I don't want to deal with the different luminance values or the different brightness values of the red. I can turn that on and off to see if that helps me pick a little bit more. It helps a little bit. Let's go ahead and say, I don't care how saturated the red is, as long as I have the range of reds. And when I click that, I've gotten pretty much everything I've wanted to in this flower. And now if I move the saturation slider, I can make the flower brighter or darker red. I can also invert this. If I go down here to this little button in the lower right-hand corner, I can invert the selection, making the flower stay red and turning the leaves from green to gray. Let's go ahead, switch it back to where we wanted, and bring some saturation back into the flower. We've now isolated the red in the flower. The greens are fine, but if I go over here to the color wheels, I can go ahead and change the color of the flower. I'm going to add a little more blue, which turns the red to a little more purple, and then I'll add a little more blue into the highlights. If I wanted to, I can even add some blue into the, in the shadows. Now this is a little bit too much, so I'm going to pull down the saturation just a little bit, just so it feels a little more natural. So now what we have is we have a flower that was red turning blue. Now one last trick. I can actually keyframe this so I can change the color of the flower as it blooms. To do this, I'm simply going to move it over here. When it's fully bloomed, I want it to be blue. And I'm going to lock in a keyframe in the upper left-hand corner by clicking on this little triangle. I'm going to move back to the beginning of the clip and take everything back here, right to the center, back to the red that it was. And now if we actually play this clip, it will change color as it blooms. There you go, a quick overview of secondary color correction. I'm Abba Shapiro for Future Media Concepts.